Hello and welcome to another video from Double RL. In this video, uh, we're going to show you some of the extra detailing um, we're going to add to this part of the layout. Uh, if you're not familiar with this part of the layout, you can check out um, some of the uh, previous videos. But this uh, particular part of the layout is uh, Chippenham Junction. It's a uh, kind of fictitious uh, location. Uh, it's uh, based in um, in the, the western region of uh, British Rail. And um, basically what we have here today is the uh, Halogen uh, Class 128. It's a uh, parcel service uh, DMU. And um, what we have is um, this uh, good shed here, which we have uh, the Class 26 uh, from Lima that we weathered, uh, as well as a parcels van uh, sitting in it. Um, not sure if you can see it in the video, but um, behind the, uh, the good shed here, we also have a uh, British Rail uh, Parcels Express or Express Parcels. I think it's um, British Rail Express Rail Express Parcels um, van uh, sitting there. So um, the idea is that this particular good shed might have been used for uh, for kind of sorting parcels or bringing parcels from the local town uh, to the uh, to the railway for. Uh, transport elsewhere around the country. So um, what we're going to do today is just uh, show you a way to kind of expand and add a little bit of detail and what we're going to be doing that with is this uh, model scenes uh, accessories uh, parcels kit. You can see there it comes with a number of parcels uh, some stickers and I got this from um, I believe I got it from Pete Spares. Um, either got it from Pete Spares or Model Railway Imports in Canada. Um, ordered Model Scene accessories from both of them uh, recently. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is um, open this up, break off the parcels, and then basically just show you where we put them on the layout. And uh, it's just a small little detail, but it uh, adds a whole lot to the layout. Okay, so uh, here you can see uh, we have a number of different pieces of mail. They come in different sizes. The packages like this. You have these uh, kind of uh, thinner packages. Some uh, cylindrical ones. Some uh, smaller suitcase type ones. And um, we also get a uh, sheet of uh, little stickers here. They see things like. Uh, Fragile, Pico Publications, Handle of Care, some mailing labels, and um, they're a bit tricky uh, to get on and cut out, but you can see there, um, I put two on this one just so you can see, I'll stick it there's my fingers right in the way. You can see this adds a little bit of detail to it. Um, I might actually take some of the weathering powders and weather these later on, uh, just so that they look a little less plasticky, but all in all, it's not too bad. So um, I'm not going to go ahead and stick all the stickers on there because it's quite a time-consuming task. Um, what I'm going to do instead is uh, just going inside the good shed anyway. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. When I go weather them later, I'll, um, I'll, I'll get an update the stickers on it. So what I'm going to do is actually take all of these, put them uh, inside the good shed here uh, as if it was being loaded up for, uh, for going out of the station. Okay, uh, you can also see here we've got some uh, mail bags. These are just uh, sacks of mail. Uh, they're also a Mall Scenes kit. I actually got this from uh, Pete Spares off of eBay um, quite some time ago. I, they're basically uh, replacement bags for the uh, TPO cars that actually have the working mail system. So I took uh, three of these things, it comes in a pack of like 12 or something like that. So we're going to take some of these and stick them inside the um, inside the good shed as well. And then uh, later on when we finish off the platform here, we'll, we'll obviously put some of these on the, on the platform as well. Going to the uh, radio console train. Okay, so there you can see uh, inside the uh, building. You can see the nice light effect that comes in from the light shining above. And there you can see 
the uh, end result from the other side. You can see it gets darkened quite a lot once the parcels van is in there. If I pan it over you can also see there's the uh, Rail Express van we were talking about. I'm just creating the scene. Alright, so uh, there you have it. Hopefully uh, that will be of uh, some interest to you. Till next time.